the problem with the water of the area is it comes from the ground. It's really contaminated. The system collects rainwater with some pipes that are installed in the roofs. Water is taken to a filtering system with uh, silver ions. This technology was developed by UCL Engineering Labs. You are, as a student, more than a simple observer. You get the chance to have the skills and the resources you need to make a difference in the world. I remember when the first system was finished, the children, they just ran to the tap and they just push each other in order to be able to have water. It was amazing because you could see an immediate positive impact in the life of people. UCL in different departments and faculties works together with not just research centers, but also big business and enterprises. Therefore, its research answers directly the needs of the world nowadays. I think the amount of research I got to do here was quite surprising. I didn't expect to be able to get involved in actual science quite this quickly. By the time I was doing my third year, I'd already done things that nobody had done before, and I was actually generating new knowledge. I got to work with um, everybody from an undergraduate to a postdoctoral level, and also Professor Perkins, who's been doing this for decades. I've been studying the interaction between two proteins and hopefully understanding these proteins better will help us tackle diseases like um, age-related macular degeneration. Initially, I got into it because I thought you know, knowledge for its own sake was worth going after, but the more I've spent in labs here, the more I've done, done research and done lectures, I think I'm getting more and more towards stuff that has practical applications. Uh, I know UCL is a, a leader in, in the research they do here, and research is, is very important. Um, and UCL, obviously, in the heart of London, it's a great place to live, great place to work. You almost can't really be an archaeologist unless you've actually done some proper digging. You get lots of opportunities with UCL that you don't at other unis. I've been funded to do 70 days worth of archaeology fieldwork. My biggest find was these smooth polished stones. It was really amazing to actually like pick them up and realise that you're the first person to have touched that in 20,000 years. There's a basement full of artefacts and things and it's really exciting that you can use them in your work. I know the archaeology department here is really into public outreach. Like UCL has free museums you can go into. So a big thing UCL is based on is the fact that they believe anyone should go to university. That was a big thing I identified with. I'm the first in my family to go to university, so they're, they're really proud of me. Now, I know a lot of doubts people have is financial, that was a big one of mine. But if you actually look into how the student finance system works and how bursaries and the loans and the grants work, anyone can afford to go to university. There's still times when I'm sitting in the lab and I, I think it's, it's amazing that I've come from a high school chemistry set, re realistically, to working with analytical ultra centrifuges down here. After visiting UCL, I realised if I didn't get into UCL, I didn't want to go anywhere. I think studying here gives you the opportunity to find out what you have to do and gives you the skills and the tools to do it. <laughs>